It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This month's species, channel catfish. Hey, how you doing, Washington Fish Quest viewers? There's a lot at stake this episode, as my better half and I have traveled all the way down to the Palouse and Snake River Convergent to tackle the mighty channel catfish. It's a beautiful day out here. We're really glad that we uh, chose this weekend to come over. It was dreary and terrible on the west side. And over here on the dry side, things are looking good. It's uh, about 82, and frankly, I forgot about what 82 feels like. Before we go out today, let me introduce you to my boat, the Wake Walker. It's a 15 foot Columbia, 1976 if memory serves, that has all the trimmings, dual seats, a holder in which my poles go, a state of the art fish finder, and a custom made fishing platform. Can you believe I made this myself? And it also doubles as a storage compartment. We're gonna fish for two days, uh, Saturday basically all day, then mate perhaps uh, Sunday morning. I really gotta say, I don't know much about this fishery at all. All I know is that channel catfish congregate at the mouth of the Palouse River about Memorial Day through the end of June. So I'm gonna probably try just basic fish knowledge and hit uh, pumps and that sort of thing, structure. Hello, baby. Hello, buggy. All right, so we've anchored up in a little protected channel and we are gonna be casting into the mouth of the Palouse here where you know the water is actually flowing using chicken liver there it is I don't know if you can see it with the sun in the background there just it's gorgeous silhouette but I got two chicken livers on there with a stretchy thread oh check this out I uh, didn't turn on the camera because it wasn't a very exciting fight just kind of drug them in you know I figured it was going to be a northern pike minnow or a, a chub but I caught my first ever yellow bullhead catfish. Hey, he's very cool. I mean, look at him, he's, uh, he's like a brown bullhead, which are very common, just he's yellow. Away we go. Alright, I'm going to try a bunch of different spots for about half an hour and see how I do. The first spot is this little finger that I've already tried at night, but I want to try it again with uh, this piece of uh, trout cut bait. It's uh, the Lions Ferry uh, Army Corps Engineer Park they got here. And uh, there's a little drop off here where there's a little hole. It's about 12 feet deep and then drops down to about 16. It comes back up to about 12. So I'm just going to try this on the rim of that for about half an hour, see how I do. Hey viewers, okay, so I found out what I've been doing wrong this whole time. They're in about two feet of water. So when you go up the mouth of the Palouse, just for people who aren't familiar with the fishery, uh, it gets really shallow really quick. Um, there is a channel that goes down it, but around the sides it's about two feet of water. And I, I figured that would be like a bad place to fish, you know. But um, yeah, actually they're, they're, they're just like, uh, I'm not too familiar with channel catfish, but they're just like brown bullheads that are up here kind of playing in the shallows as well as hunting. Hey viewers, fish on, finally. I had uh, hit my cut bait. Ooh, and this is putting up a good fight. Sorry about the critty camera view. Just wanna make sure I get this guy in. I'll be real depressed if I don't. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep him out of the weeds. You can see it there, he's right around that patch of weeds. Oh, he's he's running good. 
we try not to come up off the bottom. Come on. Sorry viewers, this is gonna get rough. I have to nut the fish, so I gotta drop the camera. Oh, it broke off. Just picked up my pole to reel in and um, I didn't even see it bite, but it was there. That's the final run. Yeah. Whew, all right. For those of you unfamiliar with the fishery, I caught this guy in about uh, two to three feet of water. So again, very shallow playing in the reeds. For those of you familiar with the fishery, you're probably laughing your butt off at me because <laughs> I spent last night fishing in 10 to 40 feet of water. But at any rate, here's a nice looking, probably about an average size, maybe four or five pound channel catfish. <laughs> oh. Howdy viewers, another fish on here. Just fishing, uh, unfortunately, the, the last of my trout chunk, so uh, this might be it, but... Uh, I was starting to reel it in actually and I just stopped and yeah, I must have attracted one because it just felt a little nibble and then there it went. Doesn't seem to be putting up the fight of the, the first one as well yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, never mind, there it goes. Oh. Don't be scared, my child. Go into the net. I was staring from the motor. Look at that catfish. So I got the hook embedded in him. This one's a lot bigger than the first. Well, not a lot, but probably a good six inches, you know, and a lot fatter. But uh, yeah, whew, so it's the second catfish. All right, one last look at the, the fish of the day. Oh yeah, catching these was great. And now that I know what I'm doing, I'm definitely coming back here next year. Uh, some lessons learned. One fish shallow, so less than three feet. They're right up feeding near the reeds in a lot of areas or, or up on humps. Uh, lesson two, I would say, is uh, fresh bait, fresh as possible. It was the bait, I think, that really made the difference as well as with the shallow water. And uh, I think next year I'll probably come about a week later, just because lately the weather's been, you know, wacky in the States. So, uh, Maybe about mid-June would probably be better, just as far as uh, camping-wise goes, because we did camp through a rainstorm and it was pretty terrible. <laughs> but at any rate, this is a great they got a fish cleaning station here, uh, the KOA campground here. I'll definitely be back next year, uh, now that I know what I'm doing. Well, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next month.